This is Psalms chapter 58, verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Now, I thought that the Most High loved everybody. Well, certain people come out from the womb speaking lies, how is he going to love them? And if he says salvation is um, hoped for and vain from all others, salvation is of the Jews, the Jews being Hebrews. The Jews not being those so-called people that's in Israel now. Those are not the real Jews. Those are the fake Jews that say they are Jews but do lie and got the whole world fooled. But that proves the scripture's right. And the true, the true children of Judah, which I am from, they're going to come out here on the highways and byways and give the people the truth, whether they hear or forbear. And when we say whether you hear or forbear, it's because the majority of these people out here, they're fucking zombies. Right? They hear not and see not. So they have not. Actually, let me get that. Let me get that. Let me go ahead and get that. Um, Isaiah 6. This is Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9. And he said, Go and tell this people, what people? The children of Israel. Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes. Least they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert it and convert and be healed, which means the Most High don't even want everybody, especially the children of Israel, all of them to be healed. It's a collective view, just like with Noah. Noah was a collective view. Him, his wife, his children, and his kids' wives, both were the collective view that uh, survived the first uh, ending of the world. Right. This time it's going to be 144,000, which is part of that one third and one third of the children of Israel. Right? Those are the ones that's going to survive. Now, with that 144,000 and one third of the children of Israel, we will also have strangers there, which means other people of other nations. All right? But they will be in subjection under the Israelite man. If they're not under subjection under the Israelite man, then they will not get salvation, thus says the Bible. All right? So all those that come and be under subjection now, you will get salvation later. All those that don't, you will die here and when you come back in the reincarnation, you will come back in slavery anyway. And you'll come back in the low state, not a high state. with Ezekiel Ezekiel no, no, actually let's go to Romans we're going to Romans chapter 8 verse 19 for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the most high for the creature was made subject to vanity not willingly but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope because the creature it because the creature it itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the most high for we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth and pain together until now. And not only they, but are for ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wait the redemption of our bodies. Now the redop wait we're waiting for what? We're waiting for the most high to change our bodies. To give us back our glorious bodies and take us out of this bullshit that we're in. Alright? This flesh is a chain of darkness. This flesh is not something good. Right? This flesh does nothing but tear down, rip apart, 
and destroyed. All right? The glorious body that we're waiting for is the body from Yahweh, from Yahweh Shai, in spirit and in truth. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Actually, let's go over verse 1 and then verse 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world. Be not conformed to this world, which means what? Don't give a fuck about all that shit that's going on. Don't care about the March Madness. I don't care about, uh, 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 what new video games coming out, what new movies coming out. Alright? I look at everything as far as what Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai wants me to. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is good, that acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. For I say, though the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as the Most High have dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in Mashiach. Yahweh Shah, and every one members one of another, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, where the prophecy let us prophecy according to the pro uh, proportion of faith. Alright, so when you get to um, the spirit of Yahweh God, Shem Yahweh Shai, there's certain things that's going to happen to you. Uh, certain people will be able to speak the language good. Certain people will be able to break down the words good. Certain people are great researchers. Certain people, they can make uh, the great posters. You know, certain ones, they, they're good with electrician stuff, you know. And all those is, is for Yahweh Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shai to help pump out the word. Alright, in spirit and in truth. But ye are, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore, therefore glorify the Most High in your body and in your spirit, which are the Most High. All right? We are bought with a price. Now, the person that um, purchased the children of Israel is Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, who the world calls God and Jesus Christ. Ignorantly call him God and Jesus Christ. For God is just a title, and Jesus Christ is a made-up fucking name. All right? The real name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. Right? So all glory, power, and honor to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elders of the great millstone for showing me this great truth. And Shalom and salutation to my brothers in the four corners pumping out this truth with sincerity, long suffering, and longevity. Shalom, my